Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Health How To Channel, where we talk about some great life hacks and easy tips to achieve better health. In this video, we're talking about how to fix neck pain, where first we'll briefly talk about why we get neck pain, and then we'll get into 30 tips and tricks to get rid of neck strain. Please like, subscribe, and share your best tips that you have found to be super helpful for fixing your neck pain in the comment section below. If you have someone in your life who you want to help, please share this video with them too. Also, remember that this video is purely for informational purposes and does not in any way replace any advice given by your own healthcare providers. If the exercises or information suggested aggravate your condition, please stop and ask your healthcare provider for further direction. So why do we get neck pain? It can be caused by a trauma like a whiplash or fall, muscle strain, arthritis, pinched nerve, bad posture, or occupation or sports. Most of the time, neck pain just comes and goes, but sometimes it can linger for weeks and months and perhaps years. This is why it's important to figure out the trigger and be proactive with caring for your neck. Obviously, some causes like a fall are easier to pinpoint, but a lot of the time we kind of just wake up one day with neck stiffness that takes days to get better, or sometimes we just feel occasional neck tightness that eventually turns into constant pain and tension headaches. When that's the case, we should start looking at our pillow or sleeping habits. And of course, our everyday posture when we're sitting at school or work or on screens. But do see your doctor if you have shooting pain down the arm, weakness or numbness, high fever, or unexplained weight loss. So let's get straight to our 30 tips on how to fix neck pain. Number one. For a neck spasm where the muscle is completely seized up and you can't even turn your neck, first try applying ice for 20 minutes, two to three times a day for a couple of days. If that doesn't help, try using a microwavable heating pad for 20 minutes next. Number two, if the pain is so bad that you can't even sleep at night, do consider taking an over-the-counter anti-inflammatory if you don't have stomach, kidney, or heart conditions. Anti-inflammatories can help with joint stiffness, inflammation, and arthritis symptoms. Examples include aspirin, Advil, Motrin, and Aleve. You can try acetaminophen such as Tylenol, which mainly helps to decrease pain and headaches. Keep in mind that some pain relievers also contain caffeine to help with headaches. So if you don't want to be waking up in the middle of the night, read the label. You can try an over-the-counter muscle relaxant like Robaxin for muscle spasms. Something really important to note is that muscle relaxant medication works on all the muscles, so you can really feel mentally and physically slow, sleepy, and weak, and the effect can last for hours. Sometimes you can wake up still feeling groggy. This is why you shouldn't take them with alcohol or while using heavy machinery. As always, ask your doctor or pharmacist for specific guidance about all medication. Number three, try a topical pain relieving lotion like Voltaren. Depending on the ingredients, these lotions can help decrease inflammation and or pain. As with pain medication, they don't cure the problem, but they can help you cope with daily activities while your body heals or to help you get through your rehabilitation exercise routine. In general, you can apply a very thin layer and use them two to three times a day. Sometimes using a medicated lotion right before bed can help you sleep better. Make sure you don't put heat or ice on top though. A small number of people can get an allergic reaction to their skin. Number four, be mindful of your posture. The further forward your head is from the center of your body, the harder your neck muscles have to work to support the increased weight. When your head is bent all the way down, which is not that uncommon if you observe people using their phones, there can be 60 pounds of strain going through your neck muscles. Take a look at our posture videos for a lot more posture tips. Number five, sit straight in your chair rather than reclining back or leaning forward with your chin poked out. Number six, put your monitor or TV screen directly in front of you so that your neck isn't always turned the same direction for hours at a time. Number seven, lean your head back on a rolled up towel to support the curve in your neck. Number eight, try to keep your neck in good alignment by keeping your ears over your shoulders. 
do chin tucks where you push your head back like you're making a double chin to touch the headrest while driving for long periods. Number nine, keep your phone at eye level by holding it up higher. Try to move your head frequently. Number 10, have frequent breaks when sitting. Get up and walk around or lie down flat. Number 11, get into the opposite position. For example, if you're an electrician and looking up for long periods of time, do downward neck bends. If you play the violin and your chin is always down and to the left, then look up and to the right for two minutes to fully allow your muscles to relax. Number 12, do shoulder rolls every couple of hours throughout the day to get blood flowing to your muscles and prevent stiffness before it starts. Number 13, sleep in a good position. Side lying or on your back are better choices than on your stomach. Number 14, choose a good pillow that doesn't lift your head up too high and supports the natural curve of your neck. Number 15, practice belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing and relaxing the shoulders. You'd be surprised by how often your shoulders are tense and up to your ears. When you are a shallow breather, you're overusing the muscles in your neck, which can lead to pain. Number 16, Stress management is really important to managing your neck pain, as noted before. Try to explore ways to release your feelings and anxiety in a healthy way or explore ways to change your mindset from negative overthinking. Finding a good support system is crucial. Support can be in the form of an online group, therapist, a couple of good friends or family members, or your pet. Pets are great listeners. Number 17, go for a massage or do a self pressure point release by positioning a tennis ball behind your neck and shoulders. Number 18, try buying a percussion gun massager for your neck and shoulder muscles, but don't use it directly on bony areas like your spine or the base of your neck. Number 19, do consider seeing a health professional for pain that isn't going away or getting worse. We are trained to diagnose where the pain is actually coming from and can do specific hands-on techniques to get your spine, muscles, and nerves moving properly that you can't always do on your own. Number 20, consider an anti-inflammatory diet if you have inflammatory arthritis that compromises the immune system, such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, or psoriatic arthritis. An anti-inflammatory diet includes A, omega-3 found in fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, walnuts, and flax. B, leafy greens like spinach and kale. C, berries like blueberries, strawberries, and blackberries. D, olive oil, but keep the temperature around 325 degrees Fahrenheit to avoid creating dangerous trans fats at a higher cooking temperature. E, Avoid vegetable or seed oils like soybean, canola, grapeseed, and margarine. F. Nuts and seeds. G. Curcumin or turmeric and ginger. H. Whole vegetables and fruits with edible skins for their fiber content. Note that juicing or smoothies do not provide the same benefits as the blender blades shred the important fibrous matrix of the whole vegetable or fruit. I. Avoid highly processed foods like cookies, chips, ice cream, hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, fries, soda, and sports drinks. J. Avoid a high intake of processed carbs like bread, pasta, and baked goods. K. Limit your alcohol. L. Avoid added sugar including so-called natural sugars like honey, maple syrup, and agave. M. Consider limiting nightshade foods like tomatoes, eggplant, potatoes, and peppers, which some research has has found to be inflammatory for some people. N. Some people also benefit from eliminating wheat from their diet. Tip number 21. Lie flat on the floor to flatten out your spine. You may need a small pillow under your neck and knees if your spine is really stiff. 
Keep your arms down by your side and try to focus on your deep belly breathing for five minutes. Number 22. Avoid wearing heavy coats, which can pull down on your neck and shoulders. Wear light layers instead and take them off as you warm up. Number 23. If you have arthritis, cold and damp weather can aggravate your pain. Try to keep your neck warm but not damp by wearing scarves that are made of natural, breathable materials like cotton, linen, wool, or bamboo. Natural materials will absorb sweat so it doesn't cling to your neck and feel cold against the skin. Number 24, avoid heavy straps on your shoulders or heavy crossbody bags. The pressure can also end up compressing nerves near your collarbone and send pins and needles or numbness sensations down your arms. Number 25, keep switching hands when doing repetitive activities that don't require fine hand precision. For example, when raking the lawn, switch from right hand to left hand every few minutes. Try using your left hand on your mouse when scrolling through emails. You will get faster at this with practice. Switch sides when pulling a suitcase, drinking from a cup, opening the tap, brushing with an electric toothbrush, or buckling your seatbelt. Using both arms more evenly can make sure that your neck and shoulder muscles are more balanced. Number 26. Brainstorm different ways that you could perform your job without straining your neck. Maybe you could switch up your workstation like a sit-to-stand desk. Maybe you could sit on a stool if you're a cashier. Or maybe you could adjust your bench height so that you're not looking down as much. Number 27. Keep your hair out of your eyes. If you're always flicking your head the same way to get your hair out of your eyes, you could be causing repetitive strain to the same side of your neck muscles over and over. Either pin your hair back or cut it so it doesn't hang in your eyes or make you tilt your head so that you can see. Number 28. Make sure you don't have cold air blowing on your neck. For example, sitting right under the air conditioning vent or fan or sometimes even having a nearby open window with a cold breeze. Cold air can make the neck muscles contract and seize up, which can aggravate the pain. Number 29. Give audiobooks a try if you're an avid reader. This way, you can get your exercise while you're absorbed in your book, rather than having your neck strained while rigidly holding up a book or e radiator. And finally, number 30. Use a document holder if you do a lot of data entry so that your neck isn't twisted down to one side for long periods at a time. If you have some great health tips that helped you to cure your neck pain, I'd really appreciate it if you could share them down below in the comment section so that we can all benefit in our personal journey to better health. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any health how-to videos where we talk about easy ways to improve your health. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.